Yeah, so the Ghana stock market finished on a lackluster note last week as investors, both local and foreign, digest the announcement of a restructuring of local bonds with new tenors and yields. Let's close over now to Accra, where Fred Duvo, a licensed dealer and CEO at African Securities, is standing by to start the new week with us with updates on the markets down there. Uh, good evening and thanks for connecting, Fred. It's good to see you again. Good to see you, my friend. Yes, thank you so much, my friend. Uh, we've been talking about fundraising, venture capital, and all of that here within the Nigeria space. Some folks, women-led businesses. I'm sure you've got your own story uh, in, in Ghana as to uh, venture capital, private equity. Uh, but bring me up to speed about the market since the announcement of uh, this, that local debt uh, exchange, which was announced uh, just about a week ago by the finance minister of uh, uh, Fouria place. Well, um, um, activity in the markets have been muted since the announcement of the domestic debt exchange program. Um, there has been very little activity on the equity market, which, uh, to be fair, has been the case for the better part of the second half of this year. People have been really interested in, in uh, trading equities. What is also not so surprising is the low level of activity in the secondary fixed income market. Um, following the announcement, trading volumes have dropped um, quite significantly. Um, mass investors throughout last week sought uh, better clarity around the, the debt program. Um, we also know that the government has stayed away from issuing any new uh, uh, long-term papers for some time now um, because of the price on the market. So there's been very little activity and, and it's been quite boring on the markets. Uh, has the debt exchange been affected by the Ministry of Finance? How much more do we know? Uh, at this point, um, what we know is that the, the window for the for institutional bondholders to exchange um, their bonds for the new ones is open until um, next week, Monday, which is the 19th of December. Um, but this is, however, subject to um, an extension by the ministry. Um, I'm aware that the ministry is continuing its engagement of uh, key stakeholders uh, and key institutional bondholders. That is uh, pension funds, uh, fund managers who represent their clients. Um, they came out last week to reject the program and uh, the ministry continues to engage them in a bit to convince them to tender in their bond. So we, we have a very fluid situation, but come 23rd December, um, more other things being equal, the new bonds um, will be issued by the ministry. Well, uh, I want to put the, the debt exchange program, uh, the country's exchange rate to the state of the currency, the CD, and this IMF bailout talks within the context of the full year 2022 for the Ghana market. You're looking to raise about $3 billion from the IMF. The total debts that need to be paid between now and June is about $3.5 billion. This is a very bit you know, of a delicate balancing for the government, isn't it? Um, well, in, in, indeed it is. Um, and 2022 has rather been a tough year for investors in the Ghanaian market. Um, as we know, there's been a spike in inflation, uh, meaning real interest rates have been in the negative territory. This year, um, we, all, we all know about the woes of the city. Uh, it's seen about a 51% depreciation. Uh, let me have a mention that over the past week, it has been able to claw back about 10% um, um, against the USD. So foreign portfolio investors who invested in city assets um, have made some significant losses um, in terms of depreciation. Then there's this issue of debt restructuring, which um, seems to be a, prere a prerequisite um, for, uh, um, it seems to be a prerequisite for the IMF uh, program to kick in. So um, it's, it's been very hard for investors in the local, in the, in, in the Ghanaian market um, in 2022 and hopefully things turn around next year. So, yeah, you talk about next year. That's exactly where I'm going. What's your outlook on the new year for the market, Fred? At this point, a lot hinges on the government reaching a, a staff level agreement with the, with the IMF. Um, if this agreement is reached in time, uh, I believe it will restore a lot of confidence in the market and potentially uh, rein in the deteriorating macroeconomic uh, metrics that we have. We, inflation, depreciation, and, 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 and the rest. Um, but however, I, I, I think that with the IMF coming in, um, there may be uh, some level of austerity, which means that things may get a bit worse before it gets uh, better. So hopefully in the second half of the year, to be more specific, maybe Q3 go and we may see 
an improved uh, investment environment for investors in the Ghanaian market. Uh, is 2022 likely to close on a positive or a negative note for on the equity side? What's your take? Um, I mean, at, the, at this point, I, I, I do not see uh, the, the equities market returning a positive uh, uh, return in, in 2022. We're already um, double digits negative, and because there's very little um, activity, in fact, the market is net offered, so we have more offers uh, than bids on the market, so it's likely to, um, we're likely to see the negative trend continue uh, to, the, uh, to the end of 2022, which is pretty much maybe 10 15 days away. Uh, okay, maybe it's the time you just take a holiday and come back in 2023, my friend. But you've got a, you've got, you've got a, you've got a, you've got a brokerage firm to run. I, I know. I understand. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best all out there in Ghana. Thank you so much, Fred Duvall, the CEO and license Thank dealer you. at uh, Upper Security. Securities. Thank you so much. Enjoy your evening and see you on the show uh, anytime soon.